Hey everyone, welcome back to Hyper Dimension Neptunia U. Just a recap from something I did maybe a couple hours ago as of this recording. The Netral Tower is now completed with Neptune, Blanc, Bamitsu, and Dengekiko. So now we are gonna go to floor 21, I think. Yes, 21. Perfect. And resume with the next pair I started with. I feel good. Yay. Rom and Ram. Yippee. Do your best. Let's study together. Alright. So, something else I noticed about the character differences. Uh, I was experimenting more with their movements and attacks and all of that, and the CPU candidates can't dash, well, jump immediately after a ground dash, but they can still dash in the air, unlike uh, Dengekiko and Famitsu. So, there's something, and also, I probably pointed this out plenty of times in the main playthrough, but the candidates are all, for the most part, projectile based with the exception of Netgear, but they, the candidates do share a trait in that they can still slide around freely while attacking, unlike the um, CPUs and the, the journalists. They, they lunge forward and depending on the attack, they may lift up or whatever. Oh, all clear. And there's actually some differences between ROM and RAM besides power. Their attack pattern is actually different. Their weak attack anyway. I think their strong attack is more or less the same. Actually, I'm going to test that out right now. Let's see. Uh, Okay. Yeah, okay, there's a difference. Even in the strong. Okay. So, their difference is with Rom, she has a wider range but less power. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all. See, she'll fire out a straight shot and then she'll just have a like somewhat of a spread shot really on the third one because it's like first one shoots straight out and then the next shot shoots at a angle from the sky and then she'll have two come at an angle from the sky from both sides so she can actually cover more ground but her power is considerably weaker than Rams and I'm gonna show that off in the next fight let's study together today Okay, uh, let's just start with Ron first. I can show off power. So about 15 to 17,000. Pretty good power. Now if we switch to Ram, yeah, we're in the 20,000s now. But the thing is, she always shoots out in a straight shot. And her attack is slightly slower, but you will just, you can just slide around. So it's not a big of a deal. Yeah. And also, when you combo into your strong, strong attack, she'll do basically ram strong attack, but with more power. Do it for me. And then with Rom, she'll do ram's attack, but it's just not as strong. It's stronger than a weak attack, mind you, but it's just not strong as ram's. I don't even think it's stronger than ram's weak attack, actually. Because Rom is all about keeping your distance, playing... Somewhat defensive, but again, she just has a wider range than her sister, so you can get more hits, and in some cases, it's more beneficial to do that. But in this case, it doesn't really matter who I use. Yeah, hers is like 32. Oh, okay, yeah, that's definitely stronger than Rams. Now, let's see. Oh, it's <laughs> drastically stronger. Oh my goodness. Alright, that's interesting. Alright. Uh, is that it? Yeah, these snakes. This, this set of floors is nothing too remarkable. Honestly, it's like, um. With the final fight of this four, uh, because the f the journalists, their 
speed wasn't as fast as uh, the as well specifically Neptune. You know, they're faster than um, Blanc, but for the most part, I pretty much had the same strategy. The fight was a little longer than the first time because the journalists are weaker than the CPUs and I think some of the goddesses as well. But the fight was more or less the same. I had absolutely no trouble whatsoever. It was just a matter of uh, we'll, we'll see when we get there and we're pretty much halfway done now. I think this is 425 because of the Dooku. Let's see. Yeah, that was 425. Also, the Dugu you fight on every floor that ends with a 5, they're always... Are they called Metal Dugu? I don't remember. I know that's a thing, but in the main games, they look like regular Blue Dugu. So, I don't know. Actually, not these things. Yeah, so, this won't be too much. I hope there is not a floor where the enemies spawn in so far apart because I just don't want this to take forever just trying to find the enemies. Yeah. I was gonna show something off, but these guys are a little these are a little aggressive if you don't keep them away. So I'm gonna show off what I was talking about earlier. After this floor, let's show Ransa Love. Oh, we're done. But yeah, see, she can't jump immediately after a dash, but all of the candidates can dash. I'm surprised they can't jump immediately out of a dash because they're hovering like their sisters, so. I guess that's just something to differentiate them. Different, that differentiate them all, really. Because, again, the journalists, they have more SP than any other character, naturally. And then the. The candidates they can hover while attacking it then the CBUs a they're generally the most powerful of the characters. Yeah. So I what's there to talk about? What is there to talk about? Uh, I guess they could talk about the CPU candidates and their existence. Uh, after Towards the end of towards the end of Rebirth One, the the shares of each country has shot up so significantly that they were base the candidates were basically created from the shares that Neptune, Blanc, and Noir gained after the events of the first game. Blanc's apparently um, was the highest because well twins. Vert, however, I've she just didn't have enough shares. Although the real reason from a, a developer standpoint is because I mentioned this before, but each of the countries represents a gaming console or rather a gaming company. You know, Neptune, Netgear represents Sega, Noir and Uni represents PlayStation. Let me just switch things up. And Blanc, Ram, Ram, Ram represents Nintendo. And do you notice anything similar? I already mentioned this before, but hey, for the sake of getting this thing along. They all had handheld consoles, where Vert represents Xbox, Microsoft has yet to release a handheld. And at this point, who knows? I kind of doubt they will, honestly. But. In the event that they do, they will more than likely give Vert a little sister and just say her shares shot up after the events of a certain game. That's really, that's the reasoning of how they were born. It's not like they were babies or anything, they were just, they were just brought into the world as they are. So, it's a, it's a way <laughs> to bring new characters in, I suppose. But it's nothing too complicated really because shares are created from helping out the citizens of a country and in turn that gives the citizens faith in their CPUs which gives them power how Neptune has <laughs> any kind of followers is beyond me because she's just incredibly lazy it was pretty real him. 
Oh yeah. We got one more floor to go. This is going by a lot faster than um, the last set. And you know, I would have to chop that up to the fact that there was, well, I'm not sure about floor 30, but up to this point, there wasn't a room where there were just enemies spread apart and I'd have to go back and forth just to make them spawn. So this floor isn't too bad, I like this one of them. Last set. This is looking like a, oh, okay. How are you doing? You weird, random whale. Like three different whale enemies in this game. Granted, there's probably more whale enemies in general, but, you know. You know, since this is a boss, I'm just gonna focus on it for now. Yeah, get that power. Oh, uh, it's on a slope. My one weakness. Come on. Uh, I, it's pushing it back on the platform. I don't want to do that. Actually, let me change my angle. Or just get you caught up in here. See, actually, if I was wrong, I wouldn't have to worry about the slope. But this works just as fine. There we go. And oh, I'm done. Oh yeah. And that's it for floors 21 through 30, ladies and gentlemen. In the next part, we will go through floors 31 to 40 as... Uh, who do I want to go through as next? Uh, we will go through those floors as... Uh, mm, Netgear and Uni, yeah. That's who I'll go through, guys. Oh, by the way, my Lily Ring maxed up with these two, which is why it hasn't gone up. But thank y'all for watching, and I will see you then. Take care, y'all. Yeah.